I'm Clara. You must have noticed that several videos in Spanish also appeared on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday will be a bilingual day. Usually, I will split videos on the same topic into English and Spanish. English will appear one week earlier and the next week will be Spanish. So, if your native language is Spanish, please just accept the Spanish video. It may be easier to understand. Today, we'll introduce the functions for enhancing the efficiency of laser cutting. It should be noted that my default control system here is SIPCAD. Before getting to the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thank you. After years of development, fiber laser cutting equipment has been widely used, gradually replacing traditional cutting methods. The fiber laser cutting machine itself is gradually accepted by everyone because of the advantages of high production efficiency. But for mass production in factories, how can we further improve work efficiency on the basis of the existing fiber laser cutting machine? Here we'll summarize six functions for your reference. First, leapfrog function. It omits the time of rising and falling and the laser cutting head moves faster and more efficiently. We can set the function in global parameter. Let's see its explanation in SEPCAD. Cutting head finishes cutting a graphic. It will lift the head and travel to next graphic for cutting. If we take the frog leap lift, it will enable the cutting head lifting and travel at the same time, which will decrease the running time. If not, it will make the lifting first and then travel to next cutting. Second, autofocus function. When cutting different materials, the focus of the laser beam is required to be adjusted to different positions. But the premise of the function is that the cutting head we use has the function of automatic focusing. Third, edge funding function. The edge funding function can sense the inclination, angle, and origin of the sheet and adjust the cutting process to suit the angle and position of the sheet, thereby avoiding production waste. Due to the edge funding function, eliminates the need to move heavy sheets, thus greatly improving the efficiency of the machine. Let's see it's explanation in SEPCAD. First is find edge. Click the icon, we can get the parameter setting box. When we are trying to use the capacitive find edge, three steps to go. First, we need to input the sheet physical size and the margin we want. Second, the strategy to find edge. If the plate we are cutting is thin, we suggest the 6-point find edge. The precision will be much higher. Third, to choose the start point. Attention here, no matter which way we choose, please make sure there is mental plate under the cutting head, which means the cutting head is within the plate space. A start from preset position enables to find edge from a fixed position. We can find the suitable position from the directions here and save it as the start position to find edge. Attention here! Before finding edge, we need to make sure first one go a region. Second, the placement angle of mental plate should be less than 10 relative to the machine XY axis. Third, the cutting head could follow normally. 
Detailed sighting here enables to adjust some default parameters, but please be cautious to change them. We suggest the default values. The fourth, concentrated perforation. Concentrated perforation, also known as pre-pierce. When cutting thicker shades, the cutting process of each profile goes through two stages. First, piercing. Second, cutting. Conventional processing technology, point A perforation, cutting contour one, perforation at point B, cutting contour second. The so-called concentrate perforation is to perform all the perforation processes on the entire board in advance and then go back and perform the cutting process. Prepares increases machine efficiency. First of all, the height of perforation and the height of the cutting are generally different. If the prepares method is adopted, the focus can be adjusted to the position suitable for the perforation. After the perforation is completed, the machine is paused, and then the focus position is adjusted to the cutting requirements. In this way, the perforation time can be shortened by more than half, greatly improving the efficiency. We can also adjust or change other process parameters between prepares and cutting. For example, compressed air can be used for piercing and oxygen is used for cutting, and there is enough time to complete the gas switching in the middle. Let's see the explanation of prepares in SEPCAT. Prepares allows to perform a perforation before the formal cutting. Let's say we are going to cut those circles. Let's try to see the simulation. First, let's not select the prepares. We can see the perforation and cutting are performed one by one circle. We can see the height of cutting and perforation are different. That means just now the cutting head need to find the perforation position first and then cutting position and it repeats and repeats. If the cutting head we use is the manual focus sighting, disaster, right? Now let's take prepares and see the simulation. We can see all perforation are done first and then cutting. The fifth bridge function. During the laser cutting process, the shade is spotted by serrated spotted bars. If the cut part is big enough, it cannot fall from the gap of the spotted bars. If it's too small, it cannot be spotted by the spotted bars, which may lose its balance and cause the part of shade to lift. However, the high-speed moving cutting head may collide with it, which may result in shutdown or damage to the cutting head. This phenomenon can be avoided by using the bridge function. Let's see its explanation in SEPCAT. If a part includes many small parts, like the numbers or letters, 
After the cutting, there will be small parts falling. Here we can use the bridge to connect all parts. Imagine we are going to cut in number six. If we cut it directly, the cut six will get to like this. It seems not what we are expecting. Let's add a bridge. We set the bridge width to one millimeters. We can see the changes. The six co-edge function. If the contours of adjacent parts are straight lines and have the same angle, they can be combined into one straight line and only cut once. Obviously, co-edge cutting reduces the cutting length, and co-edge cutting doesn't require the shape of the part to be rectangular. So the processing efficiency is significantly improved. Let's see its explanation in SafeCut. Next, we'll get the co-edge. It will help us to increase the cutting efficiency. Let's try to make those rectangles co-edge. Zoom in, and it seems to field. Why? Actually, only if the distance between two rectangles is less than 0.1 millimeters, we can apply co-edge function. Let's try to revise the array parameters. Here, set the layout to zero. We take the co-edge again. We made it. Let's look at the simulated cutting route. Currently, SafeCut only supports co-edge to graphics for size, like the rectangles and the squares. If we need to co-edge the rectangles with inner contours, we need to group the rectangle first and then make the co-edge. Have you ever tried all of the functions with your laser? Please leave your comment below. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.